After she was caught seducing random passengers while being extremely intoxicated, this woman ended her stay at the airport by attacking the police officers. Oh, you're so mad. Another one was simply very entitled and quickly regretted it. What is happening? Like, I don't understand why she had to be so aggressive. I've never had any trouble with the law. Like, what is this? And also, today we have this guy as well. See how you are? Hey. You're two-faced? All right, buddy. Back on. <laughs> But first, meet the woman who was waiting for her flight at the bar, got drunk, fell asleep, and thus missed her flight. When airport staff explained to her that the plane had left, and she now needs to buy a new ticket because she missed her flight due to sheer negligence, she lost it, spat at the woman behind the counter, and started insulting her. And when the police arrived, instead of calming down, she got even worse. What's up? I can't board her in that manner. Okay. Bro, are you f serious? Right. Las you Vegas flight? You call the f You're not, I'm listen. Bitch. Listen, listen, you're not being Listen, I'm not being intoxicated. I can get on the f***ing plane. I cannot f***ing afford the next f***ing ticket. So where the f*** is the manager and who the f*** paid for my next f***ing ticket? Because I'm not paying for this sh She is the manager. Okay, then you get paid for the Take it for me to get to California because I'm not paying for this. I'm perfectly fine. She, I'm she, not uh, she, she refunded. Yeah, yeah. I'm not No, they are the next what? Pay for it, period. Come talk to me, please. I'm right? talking to you, bro. Oh, know, relax. They should have let me on this plane. Okay, She's what? being a bitch. She fucks it. Let's start from she the knows it. Let's start from the beginning. All right. You want to start from the top? All right. Yeah. What ha you you obviously arrived here, and what happened when you got here? I don't know. I was literally sleeping. I listen, I'm standing right here. I was sleeping, waiting for the the plane, bro. Okay, where over here? Literally right there. Yes. Okay, so then what happened? Yes. So, then what happened? But you were sleeping. You woke up. I woke up to uh -huh. them complaining about me. I don't wait, wait. understand what, do what the were, problem is. What were they I just want to get on the plane. I just want to go home. All right. I just, let me let me see your ID so I can get some information. She has what, what? my ID. No, she might have the no your driver's license or passport. Okay. Right, so let's see. I had a mask. I have the. This was fine. I got through TSA perfectly fine, so I'm good. This is the f mask. All right. So Thank Ms. you. Miss Diaz. Yes. Let's go. Let's go talk up front. No, I want to talk right here. You can't. Because I'm not going. I'm getting on the f plane. See, the door's closed. They can't reopen. I'm not paying for this. Sh I'm not talking about. I'm not paying Listen, for it. I'm, I'm not, not doing that. I'm not saying you have to pay for anything. <laughs> Don't stop now. You're just gonna have, you're gonna have to come with me and, and go to the, the county jail. If that's the if that's what you want, that's what we can do. It's up to you right now. Make a decision. What are you gonna put me in jail for? I, I'm for not, I haven't done anything illegal. For being in an airport, you're causing a disturbance. You can be arrested for that. You want to do that? It's up to you. I'm giving you the option. You can either I listen. Go home. You can walk quietly. I want to go home. Miss Diaz, you can. You're not I want to go home. She's being. Well, let's go. Come on. Miss Diaz would be wise to urgently leave the airport upon the officer's advice because she is not obviously aware what awaits her if she continues to act this way. According to Florida statutes, she could be charged with disorderly intoxication or disorderly conduct, but let's not forget that she also spat at the woman at the counter during the coronavirus pandemic so we can add a more serious charge of battery. The officer is very accommodating and has decided to spare her additional problems because he sees she is very distressed. But the the question is whether Miss Diaz will decide to cooperate and calmly leave the airport. No, I want to go then you go, then no. you, It's either you go front with me or you go to jail. It's one or the other. That's the only two choices we have. Where do you want me to go? What the I'll f***? Do you want me to talk about this thing? told you. This same thing I just told you. 
put your hands behind your back. No, I'm not getting arrested. I'm not getting arrested. Oh, no. I don't need to get arrested, bro. I'm fine. I'm listening to you. We're talking, bro. No. Listen. Yes, I am. You don't need to arrest me. You do. No, you don't. You don't need to arrest me. Yeah. Okay, the handcuffs are on. I have to lock it. Relax. Got the to grab her stuff. Yeah. Are you detaining me? No, you're being arrested. Are you detaining me? Oh well, yeah, and you're being arrested. The disorderly conduct. Can we, can we just talk about it outside? I don't can we what? Can we just talk about whatever it is we're talking about outside? I gave you like four or five opportunities to walk and talk with me. And then you, you kept throwing a fit, then you started to walk, then you threw your stuff on the ground, everybody's looking at you, you have to go to jail. Please. We're in an airport, we're not at the friggin' county, we're not at the park. You're gonna get home, it's just gonna be a little delayed. Please, please, please. I don't wanna go, please. Please, please. Let me pat her down first for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You got it? I got it. Thank you. I don't wanna be doing anything. I was literally sleeping. I was literally sleeping. I don't know why they got so mad. <laughs> Please. Do you have anything on you that's gonna poke me? No, or anything? I just wanna Hurt go home. Please. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Please. Seriously, are you serious? Please, please let me stay. Please. Please, I don't have anyone to bail me out. I can't afford to bail me out. Please. <laughs> At that point, it was just too late for begging. She was charged with disorderly conduct, public intoxication, and resisting arrest. Sir, you want to come over here and talk to me? Sir, you want to come oh, over here and talk good. to me? What's that? You want to come over here and talk to me? I don't want to talk to anybody. Okay. But let's go. Is one of these your vehicles? I think so. Okay. What do you mean you think so? I think that one's mine. The, the purple one? The okay, red. the red one? Yeah. Gotcha. Dude ran me off the road. What happened? I'm not sure. Okay. It just it happened so fast. He just he reached out to pass me and he just got me off. I didn't have anywhere to go. Of course, where did I, where did I go? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm shaking like I'm wet, man. Yeah, I see mm -hmm. that. Yeah, but... Uh, the, so, you were traveling this way. I was... This way. I was going, I'm going home. Okay. Where do you live at? You might, hey, you might show me your eyes. Like, huh? I just want to... Okay. I, I just saw the cut there. I didn't... Yeah, the, I don't the have cut in the, uh, the dirt. I don't have anything that's uh, feelable. Okay. You want to open up your mouth really quickly for me? I just want to make sure you don't have any blood in your... Okay. Okay. You got any more tests? No. I just want to make, I just want to make sure you're okay. The bottom line is I'm not submitting to you. Bottom line. Okay. What do you mean by that? What do I mean by that? Yeah. Because hold on, back I up. do no, back up. I'm not hold being on. aggressive. I'm, well, you're you're stepping towards me right I'm now. I'm stepping forward. Okay, just stay just stay where you are. I right do now, okay? not have to okay. submit to whatever you say. Okay, just so just we so we understand each other. Okay, I'm gonna turn my back now. Wanna shoot me? No. What is going on here, man? I don't. No. But I know, and now you'll hear everything. This is William, and you can already guess that he's prone to aggressive behavior. He was driving his car, and when another driver tried to overtake him, he totally lost it. First, he didn't let him pass and brake checked him, but when the unfortunate driver finally passed him, William then sped up and crashed into the rear of the victim's car, causing both of them to veer off the road. William then got out of his car and punched the son of the unfortunate driver. But that's not all. He will soon attack the police officer as well. Okay, why don't we just take a second I and just, just relax, okay? Lost my
Life. Oh, so you're traveling northbound. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know why he had to pass me. So he was but trying when to... he did, he cut me off. And, that's when and you guys the two of us, I didn't even have a chance to break. I've okay. got a CDL. Okay. I've been driving since 1986. Okay. Under a CDL. Okay. I got a I got a chauffeur's license yeah. in 1984. Okay. I've been driving forever. Yeah. I don't out, I don't deal with this. When people do the stuff, I've got the reaction time and all this stuff. Whatever happened here, this guy was on a mission. Okay. I don't I don't know. I can't make I I'm gonna shut up because I need a lawyer. Okay. I'm gonna also say right now I want a lawyer. Okay. So you understand. Okay. Because I got a right okay. to yep. a lawyer. Okay. Yep. I got a right to representation and I've got a right. I'm not answering any more of your questions. Okay. You messed up here. Good. She's just gonna ask you some questions, okay? Hi, I'm Ellen. What happened tonight? I couldn't tell you. 44 minutes. Are you in the green one or the red one? I think I was in the red one. Okay. Don't touch me. No, I'm not gonna sit here and, and have you all 26. You come over right assess here. me. Get her out of here. I'm gonna start walking home. I've got a mile and a half. You're gonna have to shoot me in the back. No, hey, I just just stay stay tight here. Where are you going, man? No. Are you gonna come get me? No, no, I'm not check no. Other I where where are you going? I'm going home. Okay, we have to stay in tight. We have to stay here. No, I don't. To do the crash information. Are you are you yes, detaining me? Stay back. Are you buddy. detaining me? Stay back, buddy. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm okay. not gonna attack you. Hey, we have what a you right. gonna tell me? Are you right gonna detain me? Detain me? We're not. We're not trying to arrest you, man. We're get here, the here to get back vehicle there. info. See how you are? Hey, you're two faced. All right, buddy. Back up. Get on the ground. Ow! I haven't done anything to resist you. You punched me in the oh, face. No, oh, f off. I didn't put myself in this situation. Yeah, you did. The hell I did. Get up. One, two, three. I've done nothing wrong. We're in the back of the squad car. This way. You guys are going to get yours. Yeah, that's what court's for. <laughs> no. That's for God's sake. Sure, whatever you like to call it. Hop in the car. Oh, God. Oh. Put me in there. This one. About this one. Hands? No. I'm not trying to least loosen them up. Here, get your knee in there. I can't move. I, I'm 6'3". I'm 6'2 and I fit back here. Oh, shut up. While William was in the police car waiting to be transferred to jail, the officers searched his vehicle and found a half-empty bottle of hard liquor, making this yet another case where alcohol contributed to numerous problems. Battery on a law enforcement officer, aggravated assault, driving under the influence, reckless driving, child endangerment, and possession of an open container are just some of the charges William will very likely face. But we're not done yet. The journey to jail follows. I've done nothing wrong. I am a victim. Yeah, man, you're a victim of punching me in the face. I appreciate that, by the way. How fast do you need to go, sir? What's that? How fast do you need to go? We can do the speed limit and we'll get there in the same amount of time. We are doing the speed limit. I appreciate you backseat driving, though. It's not that important. Nobody asked you to be talking right now. At the end of the day, you know what? That just makes you a parent beater. I've spent another $15,000 on a lawyer to uh, defeat Monroe County and their lack of training and their lack of skill as police officers. Again. Do we even know what you're saying right now? At the end of the day, you got to get me there safe. So you better drive better than you suck. Thank you. I appreciate it. Dude, slow down. 42 and a 25 is a little bit fast. We don't have to be in that kind of hurry. Then you're in a school zone. But that doesn't apply to you, does it? I can sit here and recite off of call, all kinds of sh but it doesn't really matter what I have to say. I agree. So I think it's best yeah. if you just shut up. Well, you can like it or you don't. The bottom line is... It's true. They don't respect your badge. There's a lot of people who respect the badge. I just think you don't respect the badge, but that's okay. You don't, it's not required to respect the badge. No, it's not required. But it is what I just said. to uh, have respect for the badge. As in for me? Why do you people as in for me to have, have okay. respect for the badge? As in like? It's the ones that are wearing it. Okay. Come on, b Uncuff me. I bet you I kick your ass too. What are you saying? I said I'd. Bet you kick my, I kick your ass too, if I uncuff, you uncuff me. You are a coward. Okay. You don't defend your constitution. You are yellow as they come. Just to clarify what you just told me, is that if I took the cuffs off of you, you would beat my ass too. No. Okay, what did I you would do? challenge you. Oh, you challenge me.
challenge me to be yeah, there's a difference. I've got a right to free speech, and I've got a right to the Fourth Amendment. You can kiss my ass, mother What is the Fourth Amendment? The right to uh, confront my accuser. When you get home later, look it up. You don't even have balls enough to stand up for the Constitution. Still ain't got balls, do you? I wouldn't donate to the policeman's balls because they don't have any. Did you pee your pants? No, I didn't pee okay. my pants. I'll pee your pants. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, dude. It does make a lot of sense. I'll piss on you all day long. All right. And your badge. You are an enemy of mine. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. I was a little, I was a little, I was a little confused by what you meant by that earlier. Yeah, we are enemies. We stand against each other. You understand that if you hit or harm any nurses, doctors, and lab technicians inside the hospital, that's another felony charge, correct? Why would I do that? I'm 55. I don't fight anymore. I'm just right. Hold on, hold on. Seatbelt. No, I'm just going to smile and look at you like you're pretty. So, are you We're good. good. I haven't been uncooperative since you got me in the car. I promise you that. In the end, William was charged with multiple felonies, second degree recklessly endangering safety, physical abuse to a child, two counts of battery or threat to an officer, and misdemeanors resisting arrest and disorderly conduct. Why don't you get up and come over here with me? Yeah. Get away from this person that you don't know, okay? We're ready. All right, excuse us. Excuse us. Fuck. What's going on? Mama. What? Literally. Come on, right over here. What, what's going on? Tell me. Tell me what's going on. Keep coming, right over here. Before Listen, he can she's okay. speak. She's okay. Are y'all flying Thank together? You. No, we're not. No. I'm going to a funeral in okay. San Diego. We're just going to go ahead and sit I down. was she delayed was? and I am very sorry. And she hasn't been really causing any. Okay, well, I can tell y'all both have been drinking a lot. Of course we have. We've of been, course. I've been here for two days. Okay. That you doesn't know? give you the right to, like, I've been told that she was cussing people out. That doesn't no, give me no, the right no. to do that. No, that okay. did not happen. Well, I mean, I, I have to go off her of what a bar told me. I we were told her I love you, like, and I told her, like, I am hitting you and whatever. And How like, much have you had to drink today? I'm asking you. Uh -huh. Don't ask him. I'm asking you, and I'm talking to you. Passenger Jackson, for pre-boarding. Hey. We were just going to have a second. I'm okay. going. Can you stand right over there for me, sir? Y'all are not together. This woman is suspected of drunkenly harassing airport passengers. Allegedly, she cursed at random people, but also cuddled and flirted with some of them. Take, for example, this older gentleman who stated that they are not traveling together, and he actually does not know the suspect, yet they behave as if they know each other. The police are always particularly sensitive to drunk individuals at the airport, so now they must determine how coherent the suspect is in order to potentially remove her from the airport if she is actually too drunk. How many, how much have you had to drink today? Of course, our active military personnel always welcome Four, seven, seven a.m. Four what? Wine. Four I don't wines? Know. Mama, listen to me. I'm listening. My friend died. I'm very sorry. Why and did I find you basically sitting in some random person's lap sure, that you don't know? Are you kidding me? No, I was not in someone's room. I, I walked up on that. I saw that. Yes. My best friend just died. And, and you were calling me out. Okay, let me see your ID. You don't know where it's at? No, I know where it's at. Okay. I respect you. And you're <laughs> That's what we were going to look for. There's no sign. Three days to And they're not giving the uh, vouchers. Yeah. You like this? That's the one thing they it don't do. It sounds good going. to you. Sorry. Keep yeah. going. Hey. No, actually. Keep going. Thank you. Hey. Are you flying with him? No. Okay. Like. Literally, like, I'm not trying to say f you, but like, you don't need to know. Hey, my friend died. Okay. Let me go. Let me go. 
I got it. Yep, you're good. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Why are you doing this? It's for your protection right now. No. Hey, hey. Hey, stop. Stop it. <laughs> Do you want a resisting arrest charge added? Right now it's a simple ticket. You continue that and we're going to add charges to it. Do you understand me? Stand up. You went from a simple public intoxication to assault on a peace officer. I tried to talk to her. She well, didn't listen to me. She was so very aggressive. And do you think kicking her was the ideal thing to do? No, she put me in handcuffs. She well, because you were under arrest. Me. You were under arrest, ma'am. And you were gonna go to the jail, sober up. Oh, you just kicked me again. You were gonna call that kicking you? I had no idea you were at my foot. Shut the f Like, are you serious? Why are you? What are you doing? Dude, what are you doing? Dude! Dude! What are you the f What are you doing? Ugh! I did not hurt you! And you're gonna put charges on me? You're the one that kicked you? me. No! I didn't no. kick you. No! Mama! You put me in. It was for your protection. You were just going to sober up. It's just a ticket until you kicked me. Ow! I did not hurt you. Look at me. Are you serious? I did not hurt you. I'll get it. Yeah, I get it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Oh, you did so good. She f***ed up. I asked her. I talked to her. I asked her questions. And now we come to the moment that explains this behavior. During a luggage search of the suspect, the police found a large quantity of prescription medication. Alcohol can enhance the effects of many prescription drugs, particularly those that act on the central nervous system, such as antidepressants, antipsychotics, anxiety-reducing drugs and sedatives. When combined with certain pills, it reduces impulse control, raises emotional responses, and affects judgment. The suspect unnecessarily earned two additional charges, so let's see if she will gather more on her way to jail. Are you serious? Why? It's not a power trip, just let me go. Let me go. I know you're looking through that. Can I at least have like one toke, one cigarette, something, please, something, could I, maybe, one, one, Ugh. dude, I don't do drugs, like, I don't, I'm not one of those, like, literally, like, stop it. Can you really stop? What, what's the problem? Stop what? I want to talk to her. What do you, why? She feels hurt, and that's okay. Well, you kicked her. No. Yeah. She put me down. She threw me down on the ground. So, hey, that's whatever. I know she's mad, and she's angry. No, and she's not angry. Oh! No, she's not. I just talked to her. Uh... Ah! No! She trapped me! I didn't do sh to her! She pulled me to the ground! She touched me! Oh my god! I did nothing! She trapped me! Please, please, can you just stop? Give me one cigarette and then I'll let you do whatever you want. Please. She baited me. She wanted me to fight her. She baited me. 
and I respected her and I told her I don't want to fight you like I respect you and I told her that and we talked about this for minutes and she banged me she wanted me to hit her and um, I did not hit her she's beautiful she's powerful she's strong I like her a lot oh you're so mad Stopping you? I mean, no. You know what the speed limits are? Because I've been trying to catch up to you since Seminole Boulevard. I don't even know where. When I when I go over the bridge, you're talking about? Before that. So on Seminole Boulevard and 68th Avenue, you're doing 62 and a 45, and then you continued at a high rate of speed over the bridge. If if I, I like. I don't even understand right now, like, if I was speeding, like, why wouldn't have you, like, if I was speeding all the way over there, which I wasn't, like, how, why wouldn't have you just pulled me over all the way back there? Because I can't drive recklessly. I Can have... you please have a seat back in your vehicle for me, please? And then may I have your license, insurance, and registration, please? Alright, I gotta call my dad. I'll talk to you later. No, I don't even understand. I've been, literally been home. Just stop. I need to call my dad, and then I need to call my lawyer, because this is literally ridiculous. Can I have your registration and insurance, please? I'm pretty sure my registration is in the house. My dad drives this car. Okay, then have a seat back in the car so I can handle all of this. Okay, so this officer just... I, have I, a seat in the car, please. I, I'm on our... Can you just look at our... I will, just please. Okay. I'm just trying I've to... Given, I've asked you to do that three times now because this is a traffic stop. I'm at my house. <laughs> I told you to sit in the car. Sit in the car, please. I've asked you multiple times. I need times. a supervisor right now. Sit in the car. I'm not saying another word from okay. you. Put your hands He's behind your back. He's me Put your hands behind your back. What's going on over there? Oh, yeah. Let go of your phone so it doesn't break. In Florida, the law allows police officers to conduct traffic stops even if the pursuit ends or continues into a private area, like a driveway. While private property rights are significant, they do not provide immunity from law enforcement actions tied to public offenses. Police officer can perceive exiting the vehicle after ordering the driver to stay inside as obstruction or even resisting without violence, which is sufficient reason for arrest. I've said my piece. Now you judge for yourself who's right and who's wrong. Tacy. What is your name and your badge number? Deputy Mitchell, be on your citation and your arrest report. I'm in nursing school. Well, then if you would have complied, you wouldn't be in this position. Are you, are you her supervisor? I'm in nursing school. I have four months left. She said I was speeding 
all the way in s something called Seminole Boulevard. I've never seen her car. She wasn't, she did not have her lights on. I've been pulled into my driveway and she pulled in my neighborhood, told me to get out of the car. That's her body camera off. She just put it back on and threw me against my car. How many times? I don't understand what is happening. Like, I don't understand why she had to be so aggressive. I've never had any trouble with the law. Like, what is this? Ma'am, I've explained it to you multiple times. You told me I got out of the car to give you my my registration. You have a seat in the car, and you said you wouldn't because you were on your phone. No, I said I'm about to get in the officer. Your body camera, it was if it was even on the whole time. Get back in the car one second. My dad wants to say something to you. He was on speakerphone and you threw my phone on the ground and told me you were detaining me and now I'm arrested. And now you don't have anything to say. Like, I'm literally 22. Then you should obey the law. What do you mean? Just because you told me to, I, t I was getting in my, I got in my car when you told me. I got the stuff. I thought it was in the house. I got my registration and I gave it to you. I got out of the car and I handed you my registration. I explained to you multiple times. You're given multiple lawful commands and you did not comply. I don't know what getting, like, seriously, like, what does arrested mean? Like, what is my arrest? What am I getting arrested for, though? Can you Obstruction. Obstruction of what? Obstruction of the law. I'm begging you. What's happening now? Your vehicle's being searched. For what? The odor of marijuana. No, like, seriously. Like, I don't. I'm serious. Like, I'm a good Christian. Do you have a medical marijuana card? I was in the process of getting one in New York, but, like, I don't... Like, I haven't liked them. Okay. My dad has one. And he's the one who usually drives that car, so I really don't even know why you're asking. I don't even know. What is she doing? Evidence backs? Like, I'm so con- I'm so confused. We're here? Uh, the van's gonna come pick you up. Man, like, are there gonna be like other like criminals in there? Potentially. It's, it's two, it's just gonna, I have two months left of nursing school, and now it's gonna be on my record. I won't even, even if I can continue school, I can't even take the NCLEX. I can never even. For what? Work why why wouldn't you be able to take that? Because if I have a misdemeanor or anything, they don't let me. What? Back to the matter. <laughs> you, can't be a, you can't be a medical. I know multiple people who are yeah. in the medical field who have <laughs> felony charges. Yeah. All right, well, look look it up. I swear to God, look it up online. You won't be able to take the NCLEX, the National Board Nursing yes. Exam, if you have any. Back to, back to the matter being... Look at me right now. This is so <laughs>